Why do I have these gloves out on my table? Well, because I'm going to put them on. <laughs> I want to protect my hands. These are, they're not expensive gloves. I might have gotten them at the dollar store even. But I don't want to cut myself. I have something to show you. That a neighbor of mine offered to give me some stained glass items that w has been out in their garage forever, I guess. <laughs> um, it belonged to, all of these that I'm going to show you belong to uh, his father, who has passed away, but his father got it from another man who passed away, and the, my understanding is these things have not been used since, like, the 1960s. Anyway, he gave me several boxes of things. Now, this is called Culpric Sulfate. And uh, I'm going to have to research and see what this is used for. I'm not going to open it. So, you're going to explore this box with me as I'm exploring it. I, uh, it's not just this box. Just wait till you see what I have. This may be a long, chatty video. I'll just warn you up front. This looks like some, maybe some solder or a wire. I bet that's soldering wire. It's very loose and, and, uh, here's some leading, I believe. Not too sure. Some of this I might throw away if I can't figure it out what it is. Um... Some of these things need to be cleaned up, but look, there's some, some, I got a towel out here to kind of wipe it off. Some little crystal, colored crystals. Look at that. This is more, well, I shouldn't say this is more fun. This is like going through my box of broken jewelry. Here's a green one. I'll probably get out some, uh alcohol and start cleaning this off cleaning these off a couple of red ones I don't know what you're seeing I'm hoping you're seeing it as I go through these I think we decided that inside of this bag was uh, some copper foiling which I can certainly use but look at this bag Seal, Strawbridge Clothier of Confidence. Strawbridge Clothier. I like the bag. <laughs> Look at this copper foiling. I can use that. Look at that. Woohoo! And some sort of a contraption. Some more of this. I haven't figured out exactly what this is for. It looks like it might just hold the glass in place. If you want to shape it and then it looks like you might put the glass in between. It looks like it might hold it in place. How cool is that? Got some lengths of it. Some of this may not be usable, but some of it might be. Looks like some more leading. Some more charms that need to be crystal charms that need to be cleaned and the most the fun about this is they just gave it to me and I surely can do something you just wait till you see everything I got this is just one box some more here's some more of that foiling the little charm here is hooked into there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of charms down at the bottom. And this is why I put my gloves on, because there's broken glass in here. 
that can certainly be cleaned up and maybe used in a mosaic. Some little glass beads. It looks like some more of that. Oh, look at these. These don't even look like they've been taken out of the package. These are stapled shut. These are flat stones, glass stones. Oh, and look, here's some red and some clear ones. Yes, I can have fun with this. Here's some more copper foiling. That I can figure out how to use. I do, I do have a solder iron. I don't do real stained glass. Look. Genuine lead. Huh. But look at this. Broken pieces that can probably be cleaned up and shaped into some sort of a mosaic. I'm thinking right now, I've been watching some YouTube videos, and I'm thinking a mosaic with resin after I clean all this up. I'll have to clean it up real good. There's a whole bunch of broken pieces down at the bottom that I'm going to pull out. Let's put, let's put these pieces back in here. And this, and this, and the leading. Yeah, and I'll put those charms. Fun. These will even would even be fun for tassels, wouldn't they? For for the, on the end of a pennant or something, because they already have a hole in there, drilled inside, so I could put a thread through there, make a pennant. Okay, I'm gonna leave the copper foiling out and keep it separate. Let's see what else I have. Several little boxes of things. You're exploring this with me. Here's a couple of cigar boxes. Even the cigar boxes. Don Diego. And look, it's even got the it's even got the stamp there. <laughs> and these are all broken pieces of glass. But I could see absolutely making a mosaic out of some of these things. Couldn't you? I know you could. I know my art friends out there could. Would agree with me. <laughs> Several pieces of broken glass in here. And I know that you can get a glass cutter and a pliers. And I know I will be using this. Look at that glass is even textured. I'm not sure you can see the texture. I think you can. So this cigar box has broken pieces of glass in there. Let's see what the other one has. That other, this one was Don Diego and this one's Grand Fabrica the Tobacco Sequilla from the Canary Islands. Long filter handmade. Okay, we have a a tool here. Looks like you put the... I'm going to have to learn how to use it. That blade goes inside of here. Some notes. I love the notes. Look, he was planning a, a color plate... With yellow, yellow, green. I could put this in an art journal. Yellow, this is a star. It looks like I were planning. Yeah, I think several years ago. Think vintage. Look at this pretty blue. Ooh. Oh, and look. This is a bunch of designs in here. Design pieces. Fun. 
And then there's another little tool down here. Looks like that's either to cut, maybe a cutting blade there, or scoring blade. And then you snap the glass. It's got a little blade on it right in there. And the scissors and little patterns and a glass tool. That's fun to explore. Let's see what else we have. Got another box of interesting things. This is all given to me. This is all lead, it looks like. Leading. That whole thing is leading. This looks like broken pieces of glass. Look, it looks like he scored a circle there. More broken pieces of glass. This is where I'm thinking mosaic. And I was looking for one pe person, one YouTube video used grout for their mosaic, and another video used um, resin. And I kind of like the idea of resin. Looks like they were trying to cut some circles here. And they did have a grinder to smooth the edges down after they're cut, but it looked too scary for me being a novice and not knowing what I was doing. So I didn't take that. I'm thinking, I am thinking, look, clean this up. I'm thinking mosaic and uh, a, oh, this is a pretty blue. Once you get it cleaned up. I'm thinking resin pieces. I'll have to go through here and clean up all this glass. Oh, it's pretty though. So it's all, this is all glass shapes down in here. Put that long one down there. And some leading. So I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos and do some reading. And speaking of reading, well, maybe I can learn about it by looking through these books. Woo! Look at this Stained Glass Crafting. 1972, it's dated. The book is dated. So you think 1960s, 1970s for this, how to work in stained glass. Then probably learn quite a bit by looking. Here's another one. Looks like the same book. It is. One is numbered here, one isn't. One's for an art journal and one's for reference. Oh, look, it's here too. Same thing. Two of the same. One for an art journal and one for reference. Oh, now see, this is what, oh, look. Cutting stained glass, and it shows you how to cut it. Oh, and that was the cutter tool right there, right here. They don't have glasses, uh, gloves on like I do because I'm afraid of it. And here's some patterns here. Lamps. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Do you think I could do something like that for real? I don't know. So we got some reference books to read. Get a little more educated about it. Uh, I just play around with my scrap paint stained glass. Here's another box. Some more. Looks like the letting. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. See, that's what that letting is. It holds those glass pieces in. Look. Holds it in place. And here, look, they did a... This can all be cleaned up. Shined up, cleaned up. I don't know what I did with my towel. 
here's one that, no, I don't want to use that. Isn't that pretty? And I'm just wiping the dust off of it. I could probably shape, use, do some shaping with this. Hmm. And let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, we were wondering, look at all these little pieces, little chards. This could be put in some resin. And look, there's a whole box of this color. Wow, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh. Of course, I've got my gloves on. I can't feel if those pieces are sharp or not. And I don't want to feel, feel it with my fingers just now. <laughs> I cut myself while I'm do doing a video. And some more broken, some more, no, I'm pretty sure this is solder, wire solder. Some more broken pieces of glass. Look at, there's a red piece down here. Let's see what this is. Look at this. Red piece. Ooh, to clean this all up. Oh, I almost can't wait to get started now that I've seen this other piece up close. Let's put this... I'm going to see if I can't shape some of this. I don't know about this, but do a shape like this. See, that's what's holding their, their pieces together in there. They probably glued it in there, but look, they even wrapped it around the crystal. I could probably continue that. Make a little plaque. Interesting. So I got that box with, and this with these little chards in there. I'm thinking putting those in a in a resin. They're just like little broken pellets almost. Okay, now looky here. What's in here? Oh, this is more broken pieces in in the sack and you can pull this out. I just love the odd pieces of old tablet paper too. Because it looks like maybe he was designing something on there. It's funny how when you're into art journaling all these little papers with numbers and notes make it fun. Pierce Roberts Rubber Company, New Jersey. Look, he was drawing a star. He was designing. Well, look at all this glass. Now, these are these are some broken pieces, but there are some nice big pieces in here, too. Blues and greens and yellows. I'm not going to pull them all out. I'm just going to show them to you. Aren't they fun, though? Look at that. Ooh, pretty. I wonder if I could actually cut that. I would be cutting big shapes probably and simple shapes. So I have more, more of the same here. I'll never run out of glass pieces. Look at this. Can you see inside of here? Look at that red strip. It's more leading. And these are all just broken pieces of glass. I'm not going to pull them all out. Just showing them to you. Sitting out in the basement for years and years and years. More of the same. But I want to show it to you because this was all given to me. Gifted to me. Look, I even like the corrugated, old corrugated cardboard, but don't tell. <laughs> Look at this. Gla these glass pieces are so pretty. 
So you might be seeing me with my big leather gloves on trying to do some pieces like this. Stained glass. That's going to be fun to work with. I'm thinking a mosaic. I'm going to try working with all the little pieces first. I might try to cut some of these some pieces like this and see what, what kind of success, success I can have with cutting it. So thank you for watching and exploring my boxes with me of stained glass. And I'll see you on the next page.